What's good YouTube? You're now tuned in to the Infamous World Network and it's your host, the Infamous Jerez. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure to smash that like button and ring the bell icon so you can get a notification every time the kid uploads a new video to YouTube. I'd really appreciate that. Also, if y'all are into Instagram, you can catch me on Instagram at underscore Infamous World Network. On my Instagram, I post a lot of sneaker stories and a lot of sneaker content and just a lot of dope stuff. So if you want to keep up with the kid, catch me on Instagram. Now, if that out the way, gang, let's get right into this sneaker review. I got a brand new pair of kicks on my hands today. Can't wait to show y'all. You dig? All right, gang, let's get right into this sneaker review. So without further ado, this shoe came out May 27th, 2022. That shoe came out for $160. That shoe is none other than the collaboration with the Nike Air Max 1 and Travis Scott and the Cactus Jack Corporation. All right, so right here in hand today, we got the Travis Scott collaboration with the Nike Air Max 1, which if you're not in the loop, is one of the most iconic Nike shoes if not shoes of all time the Air Max one is like it's just so iconic it's so it transcends sneakers like when I first got into shoes like the Air Max one that was something that I knew I liked before I even knew what it was called that's how nice it is but here is the Air Max one with the Travis Scott collab in the Boric brown colorway first thing first holding this shoe in hand the first thing that pops off to me is just how different this shoe is. Honestly, I say that's what everybody really likes, or at least in my opinion, that's what I really like about the Travis Scott collaborations, is that they're just so different. It's just such a breath of fresh air in the sneaker game for somebody like me that's been sniffing shoes since my early days. But these shoes are just so different. Whether it's this nice kind of like checkered material Nike sign, uh, whether it's these weird straps that he added to the Nike Air Max one the way that the the lace eyelids don't protrude on the outside like a typical air max one they hid the laces inside of the tongue which was cool the aged yellow look the hiking vibe i don't know why travis Scott, all his shoes give this outside vibe with hiking and stuff i don't know how much homie really be hiking and stuff but his shoes are just like there's just such a different vibe such a breath of fresh air um but if you're interested in this shoe this shoe's going for about a high 300 a mid 400 400 to low 400 it's not going for nothing crazy but if you're not aware this shoe was supposed to release like december november holiday season of 2021 but the travis scott astro world concert if you didn't know there was it was a tragic event that happened so nike postponed the shoes to like let everything simmer down but funny enough fast forward six months later and they're like all right let's get back to the money man but yeah man so these came out may 27th 2022 i finally got my hands on them not too long ago big shout outs to ebay but let's get right into the kicks starting with the outsole we got an all brown outsole we got a ginormous cactus jack corporation hit on the back and then once you get more along the front of the shoe, it has like these cool like trees or like foresty type of vibe on the bottom. I really like that. There's also a small Nike hit by the Cactus, the Cactus Corporation. So that's pretty cool. Get into the midsole. We have uh, the aged yellow midsole with hits of brown. The aged yellow, aged look that's been very popular in the sneaker culture these days. What's interesting is the Nike Air Max 1, it has the bubble. All Nike Air Maxes have a bubble. Uh, but the Air Max 1 it has this bubble here. And on, a, and on a quick glance, you would think the shoe didn't have a bubble because the aged yellow bubble matches with the aged yellow midsole. It is a real Air Max bubble. You wouldn't know that until you wear the shoes or you feel them. You can feel the bubble. But it's subtle. They painted the bubble the aged yellow, which was interesting in my opinion. I probably would have liked if it uh, would have been a color. But, you know, to each their own. But that is the Air Air Max unit it is there painted in the age yellow um, once you get more along the uppers you have this this new buck um, brown hits in the front the new buck brown hits they're not the best type of quality nothing that that will blow you away but it's brown and it feels sturdy which is kind of like the look Travis Scott goes for a lot he wants like these hiking outside vibes what's interesting is they added this extra little patch of brown here along the 
toe box where they normally have the mesh, I guess to give the shoe a more durable utility vibe. Um, but that's interesting because most Air Max ones don't have this extra stitching on the front where the mesh usually is. Staying on the upper of the shoe, on the outside of the shoe you have the classic reverse swoosh that is popular with all the Travis Scotts. What's very interesting about this reverse swoosh is it has these beads. Uh, we'll show you more in the B-roll, but it has these beads that are stitched onto the Nike sign. It's really cool to touch. In the pictures, I couldn't tell. I thought it was just like a tumbled leather, but it's very cool. Um, and it's kind of like that aged yellow kind of look. I like that a lot. Then also underneath the Nike sign and along the uppers, they have these nice brown suede hits. I really like the way this brown feels. It feels way better than the black, I mean the brown. Uh, so I actually think this brown is pretty decent in my opinion. Getting to the back of the shoe, they have this cool stitched in Nike flag it's pretty cool uh, this is on the left shoe on the right shoe it has a stitched in cactus jack flag uh, so the heel has the stitched Nike with the Nike swoosh and then this the stitched cactus jack on the right shoe uh, it also has some more of this rope on the back as well or bungee cord I don't even know what the hell you'd really call it brown stitching all along the brown nubuck back little bit of hits of the other brown as well get into the inside of the shoe it's basically the same materials they have this lighter type of nubuck along the upper on the inside of the shoe uh, the outside of the shoe doesn't have this material anywhere so the inside is nice it adds a different material it doesn't feel crazy it feels pretty basic honestly I'd say the best feeling part of this shoe is the mesh and the light brown upper but yeah this is like another type of nubuck suede I think it's kind of bad honestly it's not cactus jack quality but it is what it is I don't beat up my shoes so I, I expect these to last I'm not gonna to go outside and go hiking in them like Travis Scott wants me to do. I'm gonna wear them while doing some degenerate stuff, uh, but responsibly. The inside swoosh has that same beaded Nike swoosh, which is cool, it's stitched in. The sock liner of the shoe is all brown, brown insole, brown sock liner. It has a cactus jack hit on the left shoe in red, and on the right shoe it has a Nike hit. What's interesting about the sock liner is they kind of gave it this extra, this extra little bit of liner on the top that's not common with Air Max ones. I'm interested to see when I wear it how it feels. Uh, the shoe feels pretty padded. I would say this shoe is definitely gonna be nice to wear. Air Max ones are just so like, it's just such an all round shoe. It looks nice, it feels good. You can beat them up, you can wear them all the time. So I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna fall far from that tree. The tongue of the shoe is this nice light brown suede. It also has this brown hit right here. For the laces the shoe comes with these red rope laces they also have these white hits on them i'm not sure if they're translucent or 3m is the word i meant to use I, my apologies uh but i will find out soon the shoe also comes with some brown rope laces i'll show you in the b-roll the brown rope laces are basic there's nothing crazy about them um i actually kind of like how these red laces look they pop with the brown um i'll wear them a couple times with the red laces we'll see if i could get off some fresh fits but if not i think the brown laces will look good too getting to the top of the tongue it has a cactus corporation hit it's like this circular cc which is new it's a pretty cool logo i don't like it as much as the cactus jack face but it's interesting you know i like him keeping keeping it different still breathing new stuff into the game i like how this has the laces hidden on the inside instead of the outside air max ones have aglets on the outside where the shoelaces go but these have like a lace system underneath the shoe uh on the inside of the tongue so that's pretty cool it's pretty different I like that and then also these straps the two top straps here you can see it holds the lace as well so that's interesting I wonder if you take the laces out and you let them hang if it'll look cool I'll probably mess with it a little bit like that but yeah man all in all that's basically a lot of the shoe the official colorway for this shoe is barrique brown and lemon wheat I kind of like this shoe man I ain't gonna lie I'm a fan of Air Max ones and when this shoe was supposed to come out last November I really had this shoe on my radar but then they posted it for so long uh, so I'm happy I finally got to get it all these months later and not for a crazy price because after the whole uh, Astro World tragedy these shoes shot up in price because a lot of people got them and they kind of released at the Astro World show but there wasn't an official release but now that there was a finally an official release May 27th the shoe came back down in price which is great the sneaker markets also in shambles right now so if you want to get some shoes right now is the right time if you got money but yeah man I like these I want to say I love these I'll give these an 8 out 
10. I like these a lot. I like that Nike's uh, showing the Air Max 1 some love. I've always been a big fan of the Air Max 1s. Uh, we'll see my thoughts on the shoe after I wear it, how much it changes, but I like these a lot. These are a pretty nice shoe. These are definitely very different. The different type of Cactus Jack release. I like that they're not a pair of Jordans, so that's cool. I like these better than the Saturn Gold colorway as well. I do want to see the Saturn Golds in person though. I feel like they might have some potential. Yeah, man, these are the Barique Brown, Travis Scott, Air Max One collabs. That's all I got on my hands today, gang. I really hope you appreciated this video. Let me know in the comments what's your thoughts on this shoe art. Let me know if you think it's an 8 out of 10, a 10 out of 10, or if you could care less about the shoe. Let me know what's on your radar for the summer, man. Summer's about to end. I appreciate all of you watching the video from start to end. It really means a lot for me. Make sure to smash that like button, ring the bell icon, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time, gang. Peace.